only if you really need the fuel like I do. Let me go with this AC real quick. Um, so anyway, I'm sitting in the uh, parking lot of Target. Did a quick toy hunt. I just got out of training. I didn't work today. And it's been rare that I get to toy hunt during the week, which I think is the best time because most people are in school, they're in work, so you might get lucky picking up something nice. Kind of like the way this is like shining down on me too, letting you know I had a, a good toy hunt, at least for me. You know, you got a lot of other guys I'm sure you follow. Oh, by the way, how rude am I? This is Tony B. Hunting Figs bringing you another quick episode. So I went on a quick toy hunt, like I said, um, and I, I found some, some nice, um, holy grail items for me um so this is gonna be real quick and short i'm also gonna be bringing you an unboxing of the batfleck batman from batman the superman dawn of justice and the new uh dark knight bruce wayne batman it should be coming in the mail today and i'll do an unboxing on both of those on the next video but without further ado you know i'm an old school wrestling fan i follow wrestling a little bit as you probably already know from watching my past videos so I was in Ashburn, Virginia. I decided to stop by the Walmart there. They're usually a dud, but I found some good items. They actually had the Monday Night War WWE versus WCW wave um, build the figure. Um, then you got the Stone Cold with the uh, jacket and shirt underneath, soft goods with the little beer can, the removable hat. I wasn't gonna get it, but they actually had the whole wave there. So I said, I gotta get it because I gotta get the WCW debut of uh, Lex Luger when he showed up on the first Nitro with his, you know, vampiro, you know, vampire shirt or whatever, whatever that was. So it's hysterical. So I, I saw the Stone Cold and I had to definitely get this. Scott Hall, when he walked down the aisle, no, well, not the aisle, through the crowd, and invaded WCW and let everybody, put everybody on notice that there was going to be a war. So this is, I'm hyped because I'm hoping that they come out with the Kevin Nash with street clothes. I already have a Kevin Nash, but I believe he's wearing his Diesel outfit. For when he returned back to WWE, I think. I don't know. I have it packed up. But I'm hoping they'll come out with a street clothes Kevin Nash. Why? Because I found the street clothes Hogan. The Hollywood Hulk Hogan. The debut of Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Um, I remember this episode briefly. As you see, they have like a little flash of it. Um, when he wore that outfit. And I remember it was Hogan... Um, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall. I'm not sure if Scott Hall was wearing the same street clothes, but they were all wearing street clothes. That's why I wish I had a mean jean, but I'm so happy that I was able to find this Hogan. I thought that I was never gonna find it. Um, a lot of places I've been going to, I haven't been finding it. Um, so I decided to pick it up, definitely. I never knew how big of a Hogan fan I am because he's very toyetic. I have so many Hogans. I'm gonna try to calm down. I mean, as you, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I finally found the uh, Ultimate Edition, the first release of the Ultimate Edition of Hollywood Hulk Hogan. I know they re-released it. Um, they gave him a tan, and I think they slightly changed something on his body. But um, I was happy to pick that up, which will probably be in box because I have, I think, two other Elite Edition Hollywood Hogans that could definitely come out the box. But anyway, and then they came out with the undertaker which i thought was a weird i have an undertaker already and i saw the ultimate edition but i don't like getting repeats i definitely need a cane like if if i need anybody it's cane so if i can find the cane i know they came out with a new one with the hardcore title but i think that's an uh that might be a ringside exclusive um but i think i don't know if this was i don't think this is the corporate ministry this might be when he fought um Bret Hart at the 97 SummerSlam when he lost the world title to him. And they might as well come out with a Shawn Michaels with the little booty shorts and the um, referee shirt and just come out with a ref edition for that SummerSlam. That'd be pretty cool. But that is the wave that I got to uh, build Lex Luger. So I'm looking forward to putting them together. Um, and this is just so random. 
you know, unfortunately, as you all know, Best Buy doesn't sell physical media anymore. So now it's either up to ordering them on Amazon or going to like mom and pop shops that actually still sell Blu-ray, DVDs and, and 4Ks. But I was in one when I was able to find a 4K release of Schwarzenegger Running Man. Now, I'm a, I, I'm a OG Schwarzenegger fan from like the 80s, early 90s. And this is one movie that I've never had in my collection of Schwarzenegger. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I picked that up. And last but not least, I was surprised. You know, I've been anticipating for the Jada Street Fighter figures to be released. Or at least the new wave. So, just randomly walking around in Target, which was a dud. And this Target was in Leesburg, Virginia. I was able to find randomly, just sitting alone, Ken Masters. That's awesome. I had to pick it up. These are one of these figures that you know they're not going to be around if I don't pick it up. But then with my luck, <laughs> I'll start going to all these targets and I'll see a, a million of these, you know, on the shelf. Because that's what happened with the Fei Longs and the Chung Lees. Not really Ken. Ken is really hard to find. The only thing is, is that obviously those came out as a wave. I don't know if this is a new wave. I don't, I'm not sure which characters came out. I definitely would love a, a, a Gaiyu, but I could only assume that they're gonna come out with the whole wave from Super Street Fighter Terrible, I think this is, which, or Final Challengers, as it says, Ultra, is it Ultra? Super, Super Street, well, not Super, but Street Fighter to Ultra Final, the Final Challenge. So that was a good find, again, excellent figures to do figure photography can't wait to do some stuff with him and, and Ryu um, but that's the toy, toy haul for today again follow me on Instagram at Tony B Hunting Figs where I'll probably if I don't get to make videos I'll usually post up there you know art um, things I've picked up you know randomly on toy hunts or just random finds I'll post them there or you know let's or I'll post there what I'm gonna be unboxing or reviewing um, on this channel but again follow me on Tony B Hunter Fix hopefully you hit the like button and subscribe and I hope to see you next time cheers to all my fellow toy hunters